Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' What's Cracking It's D. About to react to this video by Honest. It's titled Euphoria After the Breakup. Okay, are they coming out and admitting that this show is done? I mean, y'all might as well just come out and say it. Just say it. You know, say, say what's going on. Uh, one of the characters on this show, I think, lives in my apartment building because I see them on a very regular basis. I was just on the trail bill right next to them the other day. So I think they live here. <laughs> I feel like it's safe to say. Uh, I should have asked, like, hey, what's up with this show? <laughs> but I don't ever want to be that person. Like, I don't ever want to do that. I've never walked up to a celebrity and said nothing, asked for a picture, nothing. The, the thought of that, it grosses me out. Because I don't ever want to seem like no fan. <laughs> and on top of that, it's like they're a regular person, just like me. And it's like, they trying to work out. Why would I say anything? You know, it just feels icky. It feels weird. Anyway, uh, let, let's hear what Honest have to say about this, though. Let's watch. It's been five years since Euphoria debuted on HBO Max, and it's just way into pop culture. A show that captured oh. the zeitgeist almost instantly. A feat some shows take multiple seasons to achieve, especially in this era, where the monoculture is fragmented. And there's just so many options. <laughs> Euphoria is a show based on the messy and turbulent lives of a group of young people who are tied up in Ooh, jobs, messy her. relationships, <laughs> and familiar Oh, problems, she got him on her. Featuring an artsy usage of Jules, saturated Jules, colors whatever. and an aesthetic that also became popular due to the show. The show was a runaway success, both critically and commercially. According to Variety, Euphoria became the most tweeted television series of the decade in the US with more than 30 million tweets related to the series during the second season. A show like Euphoria was the absolute perfect showing for new young hungry talent, and so it was. Euphoria is filled to the brim with young, attractive, and talented actors. Some new faces, some more experienced, but they all got a major boost from the show. But much has happened since the show's five year break between the him? second like and him. uncertain That's third like season. Things that had the power to fundamentally change the show and the dynamic. And with a lot of the top stars from Euphoria going headfirst into other projects, many have wondered about the show's future, and if it's even needed. We're mm -hmm. going to talk about the changes in the actors' careers during the hiatus, and what they're up to, starting with the biggest star of the show, Zendaya. Zendaya came into the show being the most known entertainer due to her Disney Channel background. But Rue Bennett in Euphoria was the role that legitimized her and solidified her as one of her generation's leading ladies. Since Euphoria, she has ascended, winning a Golden Globe and Emmy Award for her acting Work. skills in the show. She is becoming a box office draw due to her roles in Dune and Challenges. Zendaya's career moves have been very publicized. I tried to watch Dune on the plane. It was so boring, child. I kept falling asleep, and I don't even be falling asleep on a plane like that. <laughs> but that's how boring it was. It was putting me to sleep, and I'm like, um, am I missing something? Maybe I need to like sit down and give it an honest chance, but it was, it was just not clicking. I think let me know if it's a good movie. For a long time. Many of the Euphoria cast members have struck gold twice, though, such as the season two draw Cassie Howard, portrayed by Sydney Sweeney, who has become a hot commodity in her own right, taking on a role in another uber popular show, The White Lotus, in which she received a nomination for a primetime Emmy. And she also starred in the infamous movie Madam Web, but has continued to flex her skill. In 2024, she produced and starred in the horror movie Immaculate. And received critical acclaim, saying that she considered producing movies in order to create more opportunities for herself. Oh, and it seems to be going well for her. She also seems to be on track to becoming somewhat of a sex symbol. And she isn't the only one. Jacob Elordi, who played her boyfriend, Nick Jacobs, has charmed audiences with his model good looks, but has proven to be a respectable actor in his roles for Saltburn and especially Priscilla. Kind of weird. Hunter Schaefer. Hunter made her acting debut as transgender teen Jules Vaughn. And she has gone on to have an electric career, securing a prominent role in the recent Hunger Games movie and starring in Cuckoo. She continues to be a young, powerful voice. Algie Smith. Algie Smith played McKay, Cassie's boyfriend. He was noticeably absent from season two yeah. without much explanation. Though he repeatedly expressed interest in returning to Euphoria and the disappointment of his character's disappearance, Algie has continued to act in various movie roles Although Euphoria continues to remain one of his most prolific, something similar can be said for Barbie Pereira, who played Kat Hernandez. Did she lose a lot of weight? Kat was her breakout role, but there was highly publicized behind the scenes drama concerning her role as Kat. She said she didn't want to be the fat best friend. I don't think he relates to Kat, Pereira said of Euphoria creator Sam Is that what she said, adding that the decision for her to part ways with the HBO series was mutual. 
she also continued to take on smaller roles. While much of the Euphoria cast has continued their acting career, some have I'm taken- I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures of her being slimmer. Am I tripping? Or was that before the weight gain? Was she skinny at first and then she gained weight? Or was she this size and then she lost weight? And the pictures I saw were recent. I, I don't know. On a more low-key approach. But I for sure saw her Demi, small. Who played Maddie Perez, a true fan favorite and breakout of the show. She's appeared in many different odd jobs, namely music videos and short films. She released an erotic book with Petra Collins and was even announced to be in the running to play Madonna in the Madonna biopic in the works. While the progression of the film remains uncertain, she did appear at Madonna's tour. Given the sheer amount of steam she gained from the show, you would expect to see her everywhere. But she barely even posts on social media and seems to only take to things she truly she wants to do. And that's respectable. We then have the unfortunate tragedy of what Angus Cloud, who played Fesco and also became a fan Sorry, favorite. Kitty. Angus Cloud brought a boy next door relatability to the show, as if he was actually being himself at times, Season just three. chill and charismatic. Fesco was his very first acting role ever. Angus had. Or did he die on the show? No, he didn't die. The little boy died. It's been so long, child. That's why they could keep this season, to be honest. Season three. They could keep it. I forgot. I forgot what was happening. I know some. I think, yeah, Ashtray. That was his name, right? I think, yeah, he was the one who died. Three films that were unreleased at the time of his death. The horror films, Your Lucky Day, and Abigail. And the drama film, Freaky Tales. He also had a role in the Garfield movie. Unfortunately, Angus passed away from an accidental multiple drug overdose in 2023. He played okay. such a major part in the show, and the show left off with an epic that involved him. So if the show comes back, he will surely be missed in the show just as he is in real life. Damn. Yeah, they could keep it, to be honest. I'm not pressed for a season three whatsoever, and I'm pretty sure I liked the first season better anyway. I think. I'm pretty sure. Again, <laughs> it's been a long time. I've watched many other shows since, since I stopped watching this, so... I forgot what was happening exactly. But, yeah, I wonder how do the fans feel overall. Do y'all care about a season three? Have you forgot about it? Are you on the fence? How do y'all feel about it? But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!